What's new in ShaderGraph 10? The introduction of the Universal Render Pipeline and High Definition Render Pipeline introduce changes on how shaders are written. To help the process of creating custom shaders, we've introduced ShaderGraph, an artist-friendly node editor, which allows you, the artists and developers, to create custom shaders to help shape your game's look. We've recently made ShaderGraph 10 available, and in this video, we'll be going over some of its new features. In the description below, you'll find links to the ShaderGraph 10 documentation and a link to the boat attack demo we're using in this video. The master stack. In previous versions of ShaderGraph, when we create a custom shader, all nodes we add to the graph will connect to a final output node, otherwise known as the master node. In ShaderGraph 10, we've replaced the master node with the new master stack. Like the master node, the master stack defines the final appearance of your shader. However, unlike the master node, the master stack defines two different contexts instead of a single context. As such, we now have the vertex context and the fragment context. This is similar to how shader code is written, where you define behavior in the vertex pass and the fragment pass. The vertex context will describe the final vertex information such as position, normal, and tangent coordinates, while the fragment context will define the final appearance properties of your shader, including color, metallic properties, smoothness, and emissive properties. For those familiar with writing shader code, this is similar to the vertex and fragment passes we define in our shader code. Block nodes in each context can be removed and added depending on its use. If you need to add a new block, you can press the spacebar to add a new block node. If you'd like to remove a block node, you can select your desired block and press the delete key on your keyboard. You can add a block back to the stack by pressing the spacebar or right-clicking the stack and selecting your desired node. By default, block nodes will be added and removed when the graph settings change to reflect the necessary outputs for each setting. You can turn this feature off in Edit, User Preferences, Shader Graph, Automatically Add and Remove Block Nodes. Debugging Shaders. In previous iterations of Shader Graph, we can view the generated shader code by right-clicking the master node and selecting View Generated Shader. This will open up your text editor or IDE and show you the generated shader code. To make this more obvious, we've moved this option to the Shader Graph asset itself. Now, Instead of right-clicking the master node, we can view the shader graph asset in our project and select View Generated Shader in the inspector. Like before, this will open up your text editor or IDE with the generated shader code. This can be useful for debugging your shader. The Graph Inspector. In order to provide a unified window where we can view all settings for the graph and its respective nodes, we introduced the Graph Inspector. We can view the Graph Inspector by ensuring that the Graph Inspector button in the top right corner of the Shader Graph window is enabled. In order to view the master stack settings in your Graph Inspector, simply click the Graph Settings tab. Here you set specific properties for your shader, including your material type, workflow, and surface type. The Graph Inspector also allows you to change individual node settings via the Node Settings tab. Here you can select on an existing node and change its precision type per node. For example, if you need a more accurate computation, you can change a node's precision type to single instead of half, or vice versa if you need less precision, while the graph retains a high precision. The Graph Inspector is also where you can edit properties that exist in Blackboard. This is useful if you want to use a slider type for a vector one instead of a numerical field, or create enum states for your shader that can easily be selected from the inspector. You can also define specific reference names and display names to make your properties more readable. Upgrading to ShaderGraph 10. When upgrading from a previous version of ShaderGraph to ShaderGraph 10, the master node will be automatically replaced with the master stack. During the upgrade process, nodes connecting to the master node will connect to the corresponding context and block nodes. So for example, if you have a node which manipulates the albedo of the master node, the connection will now be connected to the base color block node of the master stack. It's important to note that during the upgrade process, if your shader graph has multiple master nodes, the current active master node in your graph will be converted to the master stack, while other master nodes will be removed from the graph. The data in other master nodes will not be preserved during the upgrade process. We recommend you take notes of other connections and ports of the master nodes before the upgrade. 
ShaderGraph 10 brings quality of life improvements to help you create your own look for your project. To learn more about the upgrade process, we strongly recommend viewing the package documentation so that you can easily upgrade your ShaderGraph assets. Thanks for watching.